All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week, we're gonna do another recipe using guanciale, which is this amazing Italian cured pig's cheek. So we're gonna make bucatini alla mantricana, which is a wonderful spicy tomato sauce with the guanciale. Guys, it is so simple and so utterly delicious. Come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's grab half an onion and the guanciale. Now, you might be thinking, why have you got two chopping boards on here? Well, if you've got a bit of a bad back, like I have today, raise up your chopping boards and that makes it much easier to chop, okay? So, let's dice the onion, and then we can also dice up the guanciale as well. Okay, let's get our pan on the heat, get our guanciale in there, and you know what, guys? Uh, this pan is actually going to be too small because we're not going to be able to fit all the spaghetti in there. So one second. Right, that is much better. Let's get our guanciale into a nice big pan. That way we can toss all the pasta through that when we add it to the sauce. I'm also going to add a splash of olive oil as well. Now we're going to cook that out for about three, two, three minutes. Okay, that's looking really good. So let's get the onions in. We're gonna move that around and cook them out for about three or four minutes. Okay, that is starting to smell absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna add in a good pinch of chili flakes or red pepper flakes. In fact, let's just add a little bit more there. I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt as well. And I've also got a good pinch of black pepper as well. So let's just sprinkle that over. Now, we're gonna move that around. I wanna cook that nice and gently so that beautiful oil becomes flavored with the chili flakes and the black pepper. Now, I've got a big pot of boiling water on here. Let's add a good pinch of salt. And guys, this is the bucatini. Now, if you can't find bucatini, don't worry, just use spaghetti. Um, but bucatini is really lovely. It's a bit thicker, so it's got a good bite. And it's got this little hole in the middle of it as well, so some sauce can get stuck. Let's get that into the water, and that, according to the pack, is gonna take about 11 minutes. Okay, that's had a couple of minutes, so let's pour over about half a tin of crushed tomatoes. Now we need to mix that all together. And we're gonna bring that up to a gentle simmer. Okay, let's see how the bucatini is coming along. Right, that's absolutely perfect. All I need to do is just season the tomatoes with a little bit more salt. And now we can add the pasta to the sauce. Don't worry about draining it. You know, as you can see, I'm actually taking uh, some of the pasta liquid and putting it in there as well. Now let's give that a really good mix together. Now, if the pasta sauce needs loosening you can grab a ladle and ladle over a little bit of pasta water. Let's give that another good mix together and let's plate up. Here we go, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, smells so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So what's great about this, guys, is it's just got the right amount of heat. It's not like a Nerubiata where it's you know, really fiery. Um, this has got a good spice to it. Um, and then it just seems to linger in the mouth forever because you've got all that wonderful fat from the guanciale. So honestly, guys, absolutely simple delicious dish, get in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. I will see you next week with another amazing recipe. In fact, tell me what you want to cook next week. Take care, bye-bye.